What's up everybody, it's Norman Woods. And today I'm gonna teach you how to do a nollie heel flip. If you're learning how to do a nollie heel flip, you should already know how to nollie. And you should be able to heel flip. It's not completely necessary as you're using a different foot. However, if you are familiar with how to heel flip, the way that you kick out your front foot, you're gonna be kicking your back foot out in a similar way. So I'd say make sure that you can nollie and make sure that you can heel flip and that you can do both comfortably before attempting this. So the most important thing for nollie heel flips is gonna be your foot position. And for me, I usually have my front foot standing on the toes, heels not touching the board, toes about here, and I have it close to this little sloping area of the nose and far, kind of far from the edge. My back foot, I'm gonna have it about here, toes hanging off. So I mentioned that I have my front foot kind of far from the edge of the nose. The reason for that is that I'm popping at an angle and that's gonna make the flipping of the board that much easier because my board is gonna start to pop in front of me and then it's gonna make it easier for the heel foot motion that my back foot, left foot for me because I'm goofy footed, is gonna have to make. So my front foot is kicking towards the ground at an angle and my back foot is gonna be kicking towards the nose at a similar angle. Last but not least is that you're gonna crouch. After you get your feet set up, you're gonna crouch. And when I say crouch, I don't mean stiffly bend your knees a little bit. I mean, you want your butt to nearly touch your heels. You're gonna rise your head and you're gonna pop when you're about here. And then you're gonna extend to here. You're not gonna straighten your legs. You're gonna extend to about here, catch the board and roll away. It's very important that you don't try to push your legs to the ground to catch your tricks because that's just going to make you primo, that's going to make you roll your ankles, you're going to eat it. Like I, to be honest, I ate it so many times before I learned to bend my knees. And when you do bend your legs properly and you do miss a trick, you're actually able to anticipate it and get away with it. So your reflexes come into play a lot easier. When your legs are stiff, it's just bad. No stiff legs. If you've done all of the things correctly, if you've approached with your front foot about an inch away from the front of the nose, your back foot is hanging off slightly at the toes, you're crouching nearly till your butt hits your knees, you're raising a couple inches and then starting to pop, keeping your knees bent until you catch the board, and then once you catch the board, you're just waiting to hit the ground. You're not pushing your legs to the ground. You're gonna catch, wait, hit the ground. You should be able to roll away from beautiful nollie heel flips. When you're nollie heel flipping off, over, and up, you're gonna wanna pop a considerable distance in front of your obstacle. Most of the time I recommend that people pop eight inches to a foot in front of the obstacle that they're trying to skate up, off, or over. However, with nollie heel flips, and especially if you use my method where you're popping forward with your front foot, you're gonna need a little extra distance. So I recommend popping about 18 inches in front of the obstacle. You have to be comfortable with doing these a little bit faster than you would do other tricks in order to land them going downstairs. You're gonna wanna get these really clean, learn how to do these fast. And once you've learned to do them with a considerable amount of speed, then you're gonna take it down a set of stairs. After that, you might wanna try it up a curb, then you try it into a manual, then a nose manual, and who knows, nose grinds. The sky's the limit with this trick. It's one of my favorites. Thank you for watching. I hope everybody's staying safe. Like and subscribe if this video helped. Let me know what you'd like to see next from me in the comments. I'm gonna to try to get more of these uh, trick tips. Thank you.